All right, guys, I couldn't even lie if I wanted to. Having a pair of Vortex binoculars are probably the most important tool in my arsenal. With that being said, I feel it's so important that I need to give away a pair. You want a, fair, a pair of, of Vortex binos? We're gonna give them away. All you gotta do, like, subscribe, and comment. If you do that, you're entered in the giveaway. Simple as that. Don't be the guy that didn't like, subscribe, and comment on our channel because guess what? Then you don't win. So get ready, the giveaway is coming. What's up, everybody? You guys requested it. We did a video on the worst state to buy hunting land and it did very well. A lot of you guys were super interested and engaged with that one. So we're gonna bring it back to the best state to buy hunting land. Um, we're gonna be focusing on whitetails here, but also turkeys and some small game. You know, these, these, these states that I'm gonna bring up or this state that I'm gonna bring up is, you know, is top tier. Before we get into it, you guys kind of know the rules of how this works. I'm, and I'm sorry for some of you guys that are consistent watchers, uh, watchers of our videos or viewers of our videos, but gotta go over a couple housekeeping things. Uh, we are booking clients right now for the upcoming off season. We're gonna book up this year. Um, so get ahead of the game, get a hold of us before, you know, everybody else gets frustrated come hunting season. Um, if you wanna learn more about food plots, how to make money on your property, um, how to grow bigger deer on your property, how to pull the deer off your neighbor's property, timber stand improvement, what timber to cut, all that good stuff. Let's get you on the books. Number two, um, eurooptic.com. Go to eurooptic.com, like European, eurooptic.com. Use code WLM10VTX for 10% off. That'll get you 10% off Vortex Optics. Um, who doesn't like 10% off optics? Like that's a considerable amount of money. Also, you can head over to their website, uh, vortexoptics.com, two different websites. Use code WLM20 for 20% off apparel. So. With that being said, let's get to it. Um, there's a handful of states that I think of that are pretty dang good when it comes to, to hunting um, whitetails in states that even if you don't live in them, you should think about buying land in. And I'm gonna check a couple of those that you shouldn't think about that you're probably thinking, this is the best state in the country, I should buy land there. Um, and I'm, I'm here to tell you that the state, one of those states, um, you, you shouldn't buy land and I'll tell you why, but, and we'll get to what the best state to buy hunting land in is. But so let me hit that first point a little bit first. Um, everybody talks about the land of the giants. Okay. The land of the giants, Iowa, if you're unfamiliar, the land of the giants, um, people smash Boone and Crockett deer to their left and right or so it seems, and it's a great place to buy land, but there's a couple downsides. One, the price can be high like anywhere. Um, but if you look, you probably find a good good piece of land that at a decent price in the right area. The downside to Iowa, the main downside, is that if you're not a resident anymore, and this has been this way for a while, you can't hunt that piece of property every year. Now, because you have to, basically you have to draw tags. So if you're in a less than desirable area or zone, maybe you can get a tag every other year or so, or it's a muzzleloader tag or a gun tag. But if you're looking to archery hunt every year, it's not likely. So how can you own a property that you can't hunt on every year? It's not a good idea. Number two, another state that a lot of people think about, hey, I need to buy land here. And I hate to tell you it's a state of the past. It is still good. Some of you from, from this state are watching this video right now and saying, we got world-class deer. I know, I've been there. Um, I've been to your properties and I've seen the world-class deer, but it's not what it used to be. And the price can be super high too. The state of Missouri. The state of Missouri, let's face the facts. Uh, the Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Wisconsin, even Minnesota guys, they go down to um, Missouri and they hug that Iowa border. Well, if you're thinking about doing that, I'm here to tell you, you're late to the game. Everybody's been doing it for the past 15 to 20 years. You go down there and you knock on a door. You're not getting property unless you're willing to pay for it. Um, uh, most likely. And even at that rate, these properties have been getting leased out for years and years and years. So you're late to the game. You want to go hunt the public? You're kind of late to the game. That's one state I would not recommend buying land in for the most part. Um, you know, that, that, that Missouri area hogging the Northern border. It's yeah, there's always hidden gems everywhere guys, but it's a thing of the past. So with that being said, I've kind of beat around the bush a little bit. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, there's an area and I, I'm he <clears throat> hesitant to even bring it up in this video because it's a hidden gem in the country and it's an area within a state that I don't hear people talk about. It has world-class deer. I've been there numerous times. I've hunted it. It's, it's a hidden gem and I have never heard anybody talk about it. And I tell you what, if we get this video to 500 likes, if we get this video to 500 likes, I'll do a video um, on that where that place is. But until then, we're just gonna go to the best state. And I'll tell you right now, it's not the same state. Um, but the best state overall to buy hunting, hunting land in, 
um, whether you're a non-resident, resident, whatever it is, is the state of Illinois, okay? So here's the thing about Illinois. A lot of you guys automatically think Golden Triangle, Pike County, all those places in that general vicinity. And you should, because let's face it, that's where all the videos have come out in the past and there are world-class deer there. The state of Illinois has some damn good hunting all over it. Stay away from Chicagoland and, and you can find, you know, Boone and Crockett, Pope and Young Bucks all day long. Um, and you can get it at an affordable rate in some places. Now, don't get me wrong, the Pike County area, you might pay seven grand an acre, but if you're willing to look hard enough, I'm gonna be honest with you, I found land in some prime country of, of Illinois for the $3,000 an acre mark, um, which is definitely decent in, in our day and age. But if you're willing to look and put the time in, you can shoot 150, 60 inch deer on a consistent basis on property, private property in Illinois. And the nice thing is it's a two buck state. What does that mean, Brett? It means that you can kill a buck with your bow and with archery equipment. So as a non-resident, it's a little bit pricey for an out-of-state tag, but let's face it, uh, would you rather spend a little bit more money and go to a really good place to hunt, or would you rather spend $200 on a tag and probably not come home with anything? You gotta weigh out those options. So if you're looking to buy land, it's gonna, it's gonna hold value in a state like Illinois. And let's talk about that Golden Triangle area, or actually let's talk, let's talk about the other areas and not that area. Guys, go farther south. If you go to the southern portion where most people aren't willing to drive and you get down to some of the bigger woods areas, there's still great deer down in the, that area. Um, you don't have to go all the way to the southern tip of the state, but as a whole, Illinois, I mean, let's face it, we already know the state of Illinois, but everybody thinks about the Golden Triangle. I'm here to tell you, you can go hug the Indiana border, you can go hug the southern border, there's kind of bucks everywhere, and more affordable prices if you stay out of that Golden Triangle area. So those in-state residents or the residents of Illinois right now are probably cringing. Um, don't get me wrong, this isn't the only state that has great opportunities, but if I think about what the price per acre is versus the quality, the amount of hunters, does everybody own a 40 acre parcel or do they own bigger parcels? Less competition. If I put all those attributes together, I can't help but to think that Illinois is one of the best states to buy land for big bucks. So if you guys like these videos, you like these top 10 lists or these top three lists or these number one uh, lists that we make, make sure you guys are liked, subscribed, um, and commenting on the videos. That way you are entered in our giveaways. We're always giving stuff away. And if you like free stuff, make sure you're doing that. See you guys next video.